Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Changes are coming. Some good, some maybe not so good, uh, but change is inevitable. So some upcoming changes are that I recently joined up with a small team of friends and we're developing a race team slash build team. We have some fabricators, some suspension experts and a transmission rebuilder and I'm hoping to do the engine side of things and maybe rebuild some engines in the courtesy of my own home, right? The comfort and courtesy of my own home. Some other changes that are coming up is that I'm gonna make another attempt at this thing to uh, to stop smoking. And uh, some something that's been kind of bothering me a little bit and I kind of wanted to bring it up and this is probably the the not so good news or the uglier side of things is that, you know, when I first started this thing, I really didn't think that this YouTube thing was gonna take off in the way and direction that it did. And, you know, I was just having a wild time, man. Just a fun time, hanging out with friends, wanting to make friends. In the process of trying to make friends, I also made a lot of enemies. And I've pissed a lot of people off and I'm sure my drinking had 99% to do with it. So, you know, it kind of makes you kind of sit back and try to reflect on a little bit of the, the stuff. And, you know, I, I went a little bit overboard on Friday. So I want to apologize to those that were in the stream that I had offended, to those that I was possibly offending that was in the stream with me. I meant no ill will behind any of it, okay? Anyone that had as much to drink as I did that night probably would have made the same exact dumb mistakes, you know, saying things that probably shouldn't have been said or didn't mean. I had to drink a whole fifth of Jack. So, I mean, I was blasted. I was absolutely blasted. But that's not an excuse. It's just my reasoning behind it. And a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of good people out there that are easy to forgive and forget and kind of let it go and some not so easy to forgive and forget um but i think i'm going to take a couple steps back um really probably not going to be posting as frequently and really just trying to get my own shit together so to speak you know um making baby steps at that right now i'm going to try to attempt to quit smoking i'm going to cut back on the drinking and I don't know that I'm going to be doing uh, Fridays as much anymore, if at all. i got a lot going on right now in my life with trying to do my Chrysler training. And I have to put that above everything else. And then we have this new Rock Willie's Rock Crawler build that we're doing. And then I have my family. So I want to start incorporating more um, family activities into my everyday life and not just on a Sunday thing. I've been a hard worker, I'm a workaholic, and then I wouldn't necessarily classify myself as an alcoholic because I really don't drink to get drunk at all points of the day, right? I've got a job to do, I've got a family to raise. But there's a few nights per week that I will get completely sideways and, you know, sometimes the ugly comes out, man, and some of my military brothers and sisters out there, they get it, right? You know, we, we make mistakes and... We have a lot of shit that we got to deal with. You know, we have emotional issues that we deal with, uh, depressional spells, you know, and PTSD. And all I wanted was a friend, man. That's really what YouTube was for me. I just wanted a friend. I don't really have many friends, to be honest, because most of them live in different states. Some of them are dead. Um, some of them just simply have got families and are way too busy to do anything and then of course you have this whole pandemic thing going on so the only people that i can find in were people that i've met on the internet that i've never physically actually had any interaction with and some that i had physical interaction with and have met in person have turned their backs on me and some of those people that i have befriended with i've turned my backs on them for no particular reason or another just the fact that it is what it is one day, you know, and maybe something was said or something was done that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I just felt like I didn't really want to talk to that person anymore. Whatever the case may be, it's just everyone's got their own shit to deal with, you know. And one of those things that I got to deal with is I got to deal with my own personal well-being and overall health. And I have not been 
making the most conscientious of healthiest decisions in my entire life okay but uh i need to start changing some of those things because man i'm getting older so you know the cheers to those of you that have your beers that's always going to be a staple for the channel really but at the end of the day i can't let that that symbol that's been following me from the very beginning since i first started doing it uh dictate me having to necessarily have a need or feel the need to open a beer every time i want to have a discussion so you know moving forward i'm sure we're still going to have some content that pops up when we get tool catalog reviews from jeff i'm sure i'll talk about that if i do any off-roading adventures or my dad comes up and you know we go to the harbor freight to do a walk around i'm sure i'll post about that and i might throw some more teaser clips up of you know the crawler build but the idea is to create another channel with a group of guys that'll be managed by a completely different person i'm not managing it all i'm doing is i'm producing directing and editing the video footage that we do and then i'm giving it to him and then he's in control of all the accounting the financing and the structure of what it is that we're doing and what build comes next so we each have an active role as a team member in this team to do and i need to put some more focus and energy on that and not so much just drinking just to drink and get lit and have rants on on the interwebs to a bunch of people that probably didn't give a shit to begin with so uh but look just be careful man i'm just gonna throw that out there you know you, easy come easy go you know as easy it is is to befriend somebody it's also just as easy for them to not want to be your friend and vice versa you know what i mean and that's the that's the sad and unfortunate truth about this whole youtube thing man it's it's so difficult to know who you can actually call a friend or who you can actually trust because you don't know if they're just you know saying something nice to you just for the sake of saying something nice to you you know i have people that reach out to me occasionally on different social media platforms and some of these guys and gals ask really personal questions like very involved and in-depth questions that's like no i'm not going to answer that kind of stuff man look you don't need to know certain aspects of my life and i don't want to know certain aspects of your life so don't don't ask me that kind of shit because i'm just not going to answer you anymore you know what i mean it's it's so freaking weird it's just you know you know what it is it's just it's starting to become not fun anymore and I always said when it when it gets to that point where it's just not fun anymore, it's probably when I'm just going to stop doing it. And even though I'm not necessarily going to stop filming and, you know, sharing my opinion, I'm I'm definitely not encouraged to want to go above and beyond to try to do more for the channel for um just content reasons, man. You know what I mean? I mean, if I have content available i'll put it up you know i don't know if it's gonna be once a week or if it's gonna be once every other week or once a month i got no clue okay i um, just want to i want to try to get that fun back you know what i mean it's like coming back here to the dealership man i found my spark i got my spark back i'm having a blast you know family and i went out in the jeep went to the park and had a blast on sunday and it's just like I need more of that in my life, you know? I need that more in my life than I do negativity and BS and then just venomous people wanting to continue just to spew nonsense. It's just, I don't want to deal with that anymore. And if that's all it's really going to be, then it's just not worth it to me, man. You know what I mean? Life's short. It really is. And I've spent a lot of time in my garage doing a lot of editing and video overlays and trying to make the thumbnails because people complain and trying to work on audio and enhancing the video quality and i do all these things for you guys and uh you know it's just at what what's the cost well the cost is i'm losing a lot of precious valuable family time and physical interaction with real people okay it's like i've <laughs> i miss that man i've actually joined a few jeep forum groups and i'm actually kind of excited about having a jeep because they're already making plans to go do some jeeping around and adventuring i've never been on any of the trails in my area and i live in one of the most jeep populated areas probably of the united states 
You know, we're right next to King of the Hammers practically, and that's where they put on a rock crawling event. So yeah, I want to experience that. I want to adventure with that. And you know, I'll film some of the stuff along the way and toss it up on the web. That kind of stuff is fun. Uh, but bantering back and forth and trying to explain yourself or this or that or trying to figure out what the newest thing is because if you're not keeping up with the Joneses and the newest technology, you're irrelevant. You're absolutely irrelevant. You're not in the now. If you decided to wait for a time-tested review, guess what? It's too old. No one's even looking at that anymore. They want the next best thing, the newest thing. That's what everyone's always trying to go after. And I'm tired of trying to keep up with it. I'm, I'm over it, man. I really am. So look, this is just, it's not goodbye. It's just that uh, we'll see you next video. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys are enjoying your Monday. See you next video.